Welcome to Group World. In this video, we will demonstrate the features of the Group World product. Group World provides a shared online whiteboard, video and audio conferencing, and web conferencing features. To log in to a Group World room, click on the link for the room. You can use any modern web browser. However, we recommend using Chrome or Firefox in order to be able to use all features. If using an iPad, we recommend Safari. You may be asked for a screen name and or a password. If your room does not have password protection, you can simply enter any name when prompted. After logging in the first time, you will be prompted to allow Group World to access your microphone and webcam so that the other users can see and hear you. Simply click the Allow button when prompted. You can turn off your webcam or microphone after entering the room. This demo will show the default room configuration, so yours might look slightly different. If you are the owner of the Group World installation, you can configure your Group World rooms using the Administrator Control Panel. When entering the room, you will see other users' video if they have a webcam, and you will hear them speaking if they have a microphone. Click the X to turn your camera off or on again. Click the microphone icon to turn your microphone off or on. When you speak, you should see the red bar move. If not, check that your microphone is plugged in and set up. Click the green circle to display the other user's video full screen. Hold your mouse down to draw on the whiteboard, and other users will see your drawings instantly. You can also use a touch screen device such as an iPad or Surface laptop, or you can plug a graphics tablet into your computer. Click on the color button to change the current drawing color. Drag the size slider to change the line thickness. You can click on the tool button to change the current drawing tool. The default drawing tool is freehand. Click on the text tool button to write text onto the whiteboard. You can change the size, font and style of the text by using the buttons underneath the text input box. You can use the eraser tool to erase parts of the drawing. The eraser may also be available as a separate button in the main whiteboard. Click on the straight line button to draw lines. Hold the shift key of your keyboard to force lines to be horizontal or vertical. Click on the dotted line tool to draw dotted lines. Click on the arrow tool to draw lines with an arrow at the end. Click on the ellipse tool to draw ovals. You can hold the shift key on your keyboard to draw circles. There is also a filled oval tool. Click on the rectangle tool to draw rectangles. You can hold the shift key on your keyboard to draw squares. There is also a filled rectangle tool. Click on the paint can icon to fill an area of the canvas. Click on the Select tool to select one or more items on the whiteboard. You can either click on an individual items, or you can draw a box to select multiple items. You can then move the item or resize it. Items can be rotated by selecting them, clicking on the rotation icon, and dragging. After selecting one or more items, you can use the Copy function to copy the selected items and then paste them. Selected items can also be cut or deleted. The Select tool is also available as a separate icon at the top of the whiteboard, beside the Copy and Paste icons. Use the Ink Dropper tool to pick a color from the whiteboard. When you click on the whiteboard, it will change the current color to the color of the pixel where you clicked. Click on the Laser Pointer tool to display a pointer on the whiteboard without actually drawing anything. Other users will see the laser pointer when you hold your mouse button down or touch your screen. Click on the Hand icon to use the Pan tool. The Pan tool can also be found under the Zoom slider. 
drag the screen to scroll. You can use the scroll bars to scroll as well. Drag the zoom slider to change the zoom level. You can also zoom using the touchpad on a Mac or your mouse wheel or by pinch zooming with two fingers on an iPad or Android tablet. Click on the polygon tool to draw polygons. Double click or long touch the screen to finish the polygon. There is also a filled polygon tool. Click on the highlighter tool to draw using a semi-transparent highlighter. Each whiteboard can have multiple pages. Click on the previous or next tools to change pages, or use the drop-down page list. A chat window is available. The chat window might be permanently displayed under the video windows, or you might need to open it by clicking on a chat icon, depending on how your room is configured. Simply type into the chat box to chat to other users. Click the Users icon to see a list of users in the room. You can click on a user's name to privately chat to only that user. Click on the word All to resume chatting to the entire room. You can enter emojis into the chat. There may also be a button to send files to other users in the room. If the mathematics tools have been enabled for your room, you will see a Pi icon, which you can click to bring up the math tools. The Pi math tool brings up an icon library of mathematical symbols. You can drag the symbols onto the whiteboard. Click on the graph icon to bring up a simple graph plotter. Enter the function and click Update Graph to display the graph on the whiteboard. You can also change the x-axis range, line thickness, and color. Click the grid icon to upload a graph paper background to the whiteboard. Click the ruler icon to display a temporary ruler on the whiteboard when you hold the mouse button down. Hold down the shift key to rotate the ruler. Click the protractor icon to display a temporary protractor on the whiteboard when you hold the mouse button down. Hold the shift key to rotate the protractor. Click on the Equation Editor icon to open up the Equation Editor. You can click on the symbols or type into the text box using LaTeX. Drag the equation image onto the whiteboard once you have finished editing. We will now go through the menu buttons at the top of the whiteboard. Click on the Upload button to upload a document or image to the whiteboard. You can also drag and drop images or documents onto the whiteboard. After uploading a multi-page document, you can use the page tools to move between pages. Click the Save icon to save the current whiteboard. You can either save it to the server, or you can download it as an image or PDF file. Click the Load icon to load a previously uploaded or saved file onto the whiteboard. You should see a list of saved files and uploaded documents and images. Click the record icon to start recording a session for later playback. Rooms can be configured to automatically record all sessions. Depending on which subscription you are using, you may be able to have your session recordings automatically uploaded to Vimeo or Google Drive. If there are any recordings for the room you are in, you should see a link at the bottom to play back the recordings. Click the record icon again to stop recording. Click the trash can icon to clear the whiteboard. You can either clear the current page or all pages, or you can delete the current page. Click the undo button to undo the last drawing action. You can press the redo button to redo it. We've already discussed the Select, Copy, and Paste buttons. Click the Crop button to crop the whiteboard to the current selection. Click the Print button to print the current page. Click the Invite button to invite users to the room. You can also invite users by sending them the link to the room. Click the Grid Lines button to draw a grid over the whiteboard. 
you can choose the size of the grid and whether you want the drawing functions to snap to the grid. If you turn on Snap to Grid, then your shapes will be forced onto the squares of the grid. Click the YouTube icon to share a YouTube video. You can enter the URL of a YouTube video or its ID. The video will be synchronized across all users' screens and you can pause, fast forward, and rewind it. Click the Shared Text Editor button to open up a Shared Rich Text Editor or Shared Code Editor. You can type or paste in text and both users can collaboratively edit the document in real time. Click the Share Web Page icon to share a web page with other users. After entering a URL, the web page will be opened on all users' screens. Click the screen sharing button to begin sharing your screen with other users. You can then choose to share your entire screen or an individual window. Currently, only Firefox and Chrome support screen sharing. The other users in the room will then see your computer screen or the window of an individual application. The shared screen will appear inside the whiteboard area for other users, and they will see your mouse cursor moving. Click the screen sharing icon again to stop sharing your screen. Click the poll button to open a poll. You can enter questions and answers which are then sent to other users. Once they answer the questions, the answers will be displayed in a bar graph showing the percentage of users who answered each question. Click the breakout room icon to invite other users into a separate room. Click the help button to see a help page describing each group world feature. Click the log out button to log out of the room. You can also log out by simply closing the browser window.